Hi, my name is Sarat and uh, today we will try to discuss how to automate and run Selenium test cases using an IDE. Right. So I believe this is your project bonus part and in case you do and execute and show it, you will get an extra credit. Um, I believe your project due date has already crossed, but you still have a week to show your demo. So in case if any one of you are interested to give the uh, demo and get the bonus part of it, this video should be helpful to you all. Okay. So in order to achieve this agenda, what we need is uh, we need an IDE. Uh, essentially, we're going to use Eclipse. Eclipse is an IDE for Java uh, and we need a uh, few of the external jar files right and also we need test cases from selenium right right so these are the three things we needed and the process which i'm going to demo you is uh, one of the easiest process you don't need to download any additional plugins no need of installing any additional dependencies maven and you know so on this is a very simple process so let's get started again what i will do is i will go ahead and i will give you these instructions these instructions will uh, uh, will help you in uh, uh, getting your job done and also in these instructions I have mentioned the links right these are the links where you're required to download the additional jar files um, that are required for the execution so I will post these instructions for you so let's start so I'm gonna start the Eclipse ID right now so let's let me go here and start the Eclipse ID right so whenever you start the eclipse ide it will ask you to create a workspace or in case you have an old workspace you can use one so since this is my project uh, so what i will do is i will create a workspace with the name project for those who already know java and eclipse this is a very pretty simple task for you but for those who don't right uh, i will explain you in a very simple terms so for now understand this is an eclipse ide and let me minimize this uh, let me go ahead and launch the Mozilla Firefox right so whenever I launch the Mozilla Firefox I have the selenium IDE popping up on the left side of the screen so in case you can't find it or you can't see it for some reason right all you need to do is just do a control shift and s and the selenium uh, window should pop up if in case if it doesn't pop up which means you don't have the web driver installed okay so make sure this is in the recording mode so what i will do is i will just create a i will create a very simple test case so i will go to google here and i will search for a keyword so let me search for selenium right and whenever you search for something on google right it it shows an automatic results or auto pop-up results will be coming on but you don't want to click click on any of these instead you click on the search the button here Right. And then these are my search results and I want to verify that the search results has at least one of my search keyword which is selenium. So to do so I will select the search result and I will just say um, maybe I will do a assert, assert title. So this is the command that shows up but in case you want to try some other commands right just go show all commands and just select whatever you like but for now I, I will use instead of verify title right i will change it a little bit and i will do a verify text present and the text i'm trying to search for is google sorry uh, this text i'm trying to search for is the selenium that's my keyword so this is pretty much done this is my test case so this i'm just trying to make sure you know uh, i have the correct URL so this is google.com and this is my search keyword and I'm just asserting let me go ahead and just simply quickly run this test case and see if, if it goes smoothly right so I believe right my test case is fine uh, just execute it it's okay right so I will save this test case so let me save this test case so maybe I want to say a test case one Right, so whenever you save the test case, it is actually saving on HTML format, as you can see here. Okay, 
so let's go back and in order to run your test cases the selenium test cases using an eclipse ide you need to export these test cases into j unit format which is nothing but uh, the java unit test cases or the command which are equivalent to these selenium commands which you just executed so in order to do so i will just go on file i will say export test case as and then i will use java j unit 4 uh, remote control right the reason why i'm selecting the this one is because j unit is nothing but uh, java compatible unit test code which runs uh, on any java ide and uh, we actually have a selenium uh, uh, web server uh, or you can say maybe a selenium remote control web server which actually <clears throat> controls the execution of the test cases on your web browser when you run it through the IDE. So uh, since we already have the Selenium uh, web remote control, so what we do is we select this one and maybe you just give a name. So maybe I want to say my test case. Okay, this should be okay, my test case. And remember the difference is when you create the test case, uh, when you simply save the test case, it is saving on HTML format, right? And when you save the test case as JUnit4, Java or JUnit4 compatible uh, version, it is actually saving the file in the Java format. You can actually open the file and see there are Java instructions here, right? So this is the code that you need to work on. So let's go back, go to the Eclipse. Uh, for those who already worked on Eclipse or Java before, this is nothing. But for those who, do, who did not, you simply go click on File, New, and then create a new Java project. So I will say a project name, any name that, you know, which is relevant. So I just say project name and I say finish. Let me open my package explorer here and I see my project is created. Under source, I need to create a new package right essentially a project has a package and the package is a collection of classes and interfaces okay so let me go back go here and say package right so in the package i want to say name as my test case and say finish right and i will say new class package is nothing but collection of classes so i will create a project and then package and then a class so my class name I want to give is, right? I maybe I want to say test case automation, right? Test case automation. Let me click on finish. This should open up my uh, the actual code. Maybe we can close these. Right. Okay. So let me go back here uh, and open the the test case that I just created. This is the JUnit uh, version of the Selenium commands. So just copy the entire code uh, as simple as that. So just go ahead and paste it. There are a few changes that we are required to do. So the package name is package name is my test case here. So I simply say my test case. Okay. And the second point is whatever is the name of the public class, that should be the name of the program. Otherwise, the program is saved as test case automation. So instead of this one, I, I, I have to specify test case automation, right? And that's it. You see a lot of errors coming up here. This is because the Java IDE doesn't recognize any of these J unit uh, packages or it doesn't recognize the Selenium commands, right? To get this issue sorted out, we need to add the external jar files again the instructions which i am going to post uh, on the portal these instructions these instructions will have two links essentially two links go to these links and download the uh, required external jar files okay so i already have downloaded those two jar files this is first jar file is the selenium server standalone jar file and the second jar file is to support the j unit commands right so let's go ahead let's go back here and we need to add the external jar files to do so just give a right click on project on your project and say properties project properties and then say 
java build path right and here go click on libraries and then say add external jars these are the two jar files that we need one is your junit jar file which uh, uh, which will help the IDE to recognize the JD uh, IDE to recognize the uh, J unit packages that we imported and also any J unit commands that we had in the uh, in the program right and also selenium uh, this is another jar file selenium server standalone is another jar file that will make the IDE to recognize the selenium commands there are a few of selenium commands in your program which we will try to understand uh, in a few moments so for now so just go ahead and just import these two and say okay as soon as you do this just do a save and you should see half of the uh, errors are going back right and uh, there's another error here as we can see oh automation automation right okay so these static imports are usually supported uh, with version 1.5 in case your jre version that's that you're running on um, on ID is not 1.5 then you might see this in case you have this error just put your mouse place your mouse over it on the statement and you should see a pop-up coming on and just click the select project or change project compliance and GRE to 1.5 so just click this and that should go away so that's it the test case is pretty much ready so these are the selenium test case uh, I mean these are the selenium command selenium is a predefined class and that class is uh, there in the package uh, from the external jar that we added so that's why now the IDE is able to recognize all these commands and the IDE uh, also this IDE tries to communicate with the Mozilla Firefox on a port 4444 which is a predefined for port and on the local host of course you're running locally so local host the port number is 4444 right so these are the simple selenium commands which we uh, can understand by looking at them so let me minimize this so for now this is done so let me save one more time i'm doing control s or just go and just save because i already saved it so it's grayed out so that's fine so let me minimize this and let me minimize this too right and let me open the command prompt right so remember when we were initial when we have initially started i i explained you we need uh i clips id we need jar files and test cases we have all the three now and the other one is we need to start this selenium uh, remote control web server which is nothing but that's a web server start the web server the web server will take the commands from the eclipse ide converts those commands uh and executes the commands on your Mozilla Firefox so which is nothing but you simply run the program on Eclipse you see the output on the browser so the communication between the IDE and the browser is achieved by the selenium uh, selenium RC web server or remote control web server to start this web server right simply go to the directory where you initially saved the jar files so I saved the, both the jar files on my desktop so I will just move to desktop right so let me this is my selenium server standalone the jar file the same jar file which we added on the project so let me just drag and drop this one so let me take this part off and to start the uh, selenium web server right uh, you need to execute the jar file to execute any java jar file all you need to do is java do java space jar followed by the uh, jar name jar file name and that should do it just do an enter key and wait for a few seconds until it's uh, uh, it finishes launching all the uh, uh, finishes launching the server and once everything is up okay we should be good to go so all right okay so I think we should be okay so let's minimize this and go back to the Eclipse IDE and to run this test case this test case doesn't have a main method so you cannot just run this as a simple or a regular java application instead you need to run this as a j unit format so just say run as and then select j unit test now just wait for the result it will take a few few moments when you try to launch it oh i think it's okay so it's my mistake let me close this 
so let me run this uh, run as j test case unit so you should see the mozilla firefox popping up somewhere here okay you see it right now so it started executing the selenium commands but that was so quick that was so quick but that you were not even able to uh, uh, identify that there's something popping up on the screen so instead you want to slow down uh, if you want to slow down the execution simply use selenium dot uh, i believe that's uh, set speed yeah set speed so maybe i will take a speed of uh, let's say 1500 okay so this one is taking a string arguments as it shows here so you need to pass in double quotes let me save this one more time and go back here and give a right click and run as j unit test case okay so i already have a pop up coming on here okay so that's it that's it for now so uh, the what happens is when you run the code from ide the selenium web server is communicating with, between the ide and with the web browser on port 4444 and uh, it's simply translating these uh, uh the j this j unit uh, program into the instructions and it is running on the web browser so that's it you're done with your task and uh, it's pretty much the same no matter you use a single test case or you use a test suite or a collection of test cases the process you follow is still the same and uh, um, just to give it give you all a demo I was just using a simple test case but uh, uh, the test cases which you are actually required to do are are mentioned in the project specifications so follow the specifications and uh, um, create the test cases, export them into JUnit format, add the external jar files, launch the Selenium web server and and just see the output on the Mozilla. So that's it for now. I hope this uh, video is very uh, helpful to you all. And in case uh, you have any questions or comments, uh, you can, you're welcome. You can just leave your comments below. Thank you and uh, thanks for listening.